but most of his shots were taken from a, a point essentially standing over me. Only on 13 tonight, a central Indiana man who was inches away from the accused airport attacker is sharing his story of survival. He is back home tonight as the man suspected of shooting people at random at the Fort Lauderdale airport went to court for the very first time. 26-year-old Esteban Santiago could now face the death penalty if convicted of that rampage that killed five people. And some of those victims were shot right next to an Indianapolis man who was in Florida for vacation. Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Runovich talked with him about his harrowing experience and how he survived to tell the story. In the midst of chaos, a Hoosier traveler dropped down and stayed quiet, a decision that likely saved his life. When the shooting was going on, I, I didn't exactly know who he was shooting. It wasn't until I got up that I realized it was the people on both sides of me. Bruce Hugon is still processing what happened in Florida on Friday. The retired Indianapolis attorney was headed to a family wedding and waiting for luggage in the airport's baggage claim when a sound caused people to panic. I hear a few pops uh, sound to me like, you know, little mini firecrackers off in the distance, but shortly thereafter, um, screams and panic running. There's nothing for me to hide behind, and I did not want to remain standing, so I just got down. Police say Esteban Santiago grabbed a gun from his waistband and started shooting. Most of the shots fired right above Bruce. He didn't see any of this, but he heard it, face down on the carpet, staying still. I smell the gunpowder, uh, there are loud bangs, and, you know, what I had to think about was trying to steal myself for having to continue to play dead even if I had, was shot and was in pain. That's what I was trying to prepare myself for. The danger was close. Bruce later took pictures of these shell casings found right at his feet. Right at my feet. That's correct. He was probably standing right next to my feet while he was shooting these people. Bruce says the gunman never said a word. His gunfire was methodical. It wasn't like it's boom, 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 boom. It was boom, 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 boom. I mean, it took forever. As the shots got louder and I'm smelling gunpowder and the guy, and it's apparent the guy is basically standing over me, I wasn't going to say another word or make another move. And he killed her. A woman right next to him, along with two people to his left, all of them shot in the head. Bruce isn't sure why he was spared, but he believes that split-second decision to drop down and play dead I just didn't want to move. is what helped him survive. Now, sadly, Bruce says the woman who was next to him was actually shot when she tried to get up. Bruce said there was nowhere to hide there, no bench or luggage right nearby to protect either of them. They were exposed to the shooter the whole time. Again, he never moved. He stayed on the ground. In fact, he didn't get up until he heard someone yell, they have him. Wow. And he talked yeah. with us tonight, really mm -hmm. in hopes of sharing his experience, what he did. Maybe that would help someone in another active shooter situation. Stay on the ground and play dead. Yeah, he Could said Could possibly that's save your life. Mm -hmm. Jenny, thank you. And you can hear more of Bruce's survival story at our website, WTHR.com. We'll have more of his interview posted with the story. And, of course, we'll have more tomorrow morning on Eyewitness News Sunrise beginning at 4 a.m.